Controversy in the Magic City this morning, an issue involving Miami's Virginia Key Beach drawing prospectors to yesterday's City Hall meeting. The network's Leanne Avatar Bush was there. A plan that lies amidst controversy is up for discussion today. We are here at the Miami City Hall for a meeting that will discuss the closure of Virginia Key Park as well as the housing of underprivileged homeless individuals inside Virginia Key Park. Community control, cooperative housing project, Liberty City. Signs, banners and posters were carried high at this rally in front of Miami City Hall expressing opposition to a plan that would affect Virginia Key. During public discussions, a lot of people had the chance to voice their opinions about the historic and environmental impact of shutting down the Virginia Key Outdoor Center. Um, this is a plan that's debased of any kind of um, ethical um, or compassionate care when it comes to the houseless. It's objectifying them as a problem instead of viewing them as people. So when we talk about Virginia Key Beach, uh, we're talking about a historically black uh, landmark right and there's several here in Florida that are not just important to the black community but the overall like diversity and cultural fabric of Florida we talk about um, Eula Johnson and Von D. Mizell State Park in uh, Dania we're talking about other places in Sarasota and uh, St. Petersburg more than 17,000 people signed a petition to halt the plan claiming that it would isolate the homeless population away from mainland Miami limit their access to job opportunities and transportation as well as put them on the front lines of the climate crisis since Virginia Key is a flood hazard area the question remains, is this the best way to tackle homelessness in Miami? Reporting for the South Florida Media Network, Leanna Botarbush.